I would like to explain how to use the 2D detector, which automatically finds and records the location of mechanically exfoliated two-dimensional materials. Power on the device. Turn on the mechanical units. Place the sample, so the lower left part of it is near the origin of the sample stage. At this time, if the focused white light source illuminates the lower left part of the sample, the location is correct. Starting the program, now double-click the SLG64 icon on your PC. Focusing. The microscope image is shown on the main screen of the window, and the control panel window is visible on the right. To automatically focus when the microscope image looks blurry, first press the coarse focusing button on the lower left corner. You can see that the height is changed by the motor attached to the Z-axis and the focus is automatically adjusted. However, if the focus is too difficult at this time, manual focus adjustment may be required. This should be done by manually rotating the motor knob, and the approximate focal length is 2 cm between the objective lens and the sample. If course focusing isn't good enough, press the focus button at the origin, and it automatically performs more precise focusing. Positioning the scan range, check that the default values of X range and Y range on the control panel are appropriate. It is possible from a minimum of 1 mm to a maximum of 50 mm. And the value can be adjusted according to the size of the user's sample. To check whether this value is correct, press the X max button on the right. The X axis motor moves the sample to the maximum value of the X range. Similarly, press the Y max button near the top to make sure the Y range is correct. Of course, you can skip this step. Scanning. For scanning, there are two methods, scanning while correcting the sample tilt, and scanning ignoring the tilt. If you select Scan with Tilt Correction, in the lower right corner, tilt correction is performed, and if unchecked, no correction is made. If the sample size is 5 mm or less, it is OK to ignore the tilt and scan. In order to correct the slope, the tilt values in the lower center and left center must be determined. If the Start Scan button is pressed while tilt values are blank, the procedure of measuring the slope is first performed and scanning starts. If both origin focus and X max and Y max focuses are performed, each C depth value is recorded, and in this case, the slope value is measured when the slow button is pressed. In this state, you can start scanning immediately by pressing the Start Scan button. When you want to stop scanning, just click on the screen with your mouse. Checking the scan progress during scanning, the progress and remaining time are displayed in the information box and progress box located in the center of the control panel. And the current scan position of the motor is displayed in the X, Y, and Z boxes at the top. When the scan is finished, it automatically stops the scan, returns to the origin, and changes to normal microscope mode. Checking the found images. The images of two-dimensional materials found through scanning are automatically stored in a folder with the current date and time as the folder name in the image data folder on the desktop of the PC. The file name of the image shows the position coordinates of the sample and the image of the origin, that is the image of 0, 0, is always saved to locate the origin. Flakes of two-dimensional material found in the saved image are marked with a red rectangular border. Adjusting conditions according to the type of 2D material and substrate. If you select the configuration menu in the analysis menu, the configuration window appears. Here, if you select the type of 2D material and the type of substrate, the theoretically calculated contrasts of red, green, and blue appear under the corresponding conditions. Of course, it's okay to manually adjust these values. The tolerance value which means the error range can also be adjusted. If this value is set too high, a lot of noise is mixed, and if the value is set too low, the two-dimensional material may not be recognized. This value is set automatically, but in general, it is appropriate to set about half of the largest value among R, G, and B contrasts.
If you press the test now button to check whether the set value is appropriate, you can see that the border of the found flake is displayed and the score value is also displayed. Manual adjustment of search conditions for two-dimensional materials If it is difficult to determine an appropriate value for the contrast as using a new material or a new substrate, you can search it from the microscope image manually. By pressing the arrow buttons on the keyboard, the position of the sample can be moved in 400 micron increments. When a flake is found to be a targeting material, the image can be saved by pressing the Enter key. At this time, if you left-click on the two-dimensional material position, the R, G, and B contrasts of the corresponding pixel are displayed in the message box. It asks if you want to change the contrast to this value, and if you click the Yes button, the contrast of this pixel is set as the contrast that determines the 2D material. Of course, if you press the wrong button, you can go back to the configuration menu and change it as you want. For more detailed instructions please refer to the PDF manual. This concludes the brief explanation of how to use the 2D material detector.